So since I'm ignorant, I uh, got the luck to discover Descartes. I mean, I knew who Descartes was, but I read him after I read you. And I noticed he gives you the tools to doubt what he's saying. It's like the opposite of dogmatism. I mean, that you know, ought to be the ideal of teaching anyway, whether it's children or graduate students. Uh, they should be taught to challenge and to question images that come from the Enlightenment about this, that say that teaching should not be like pouring water into a vessel. It should be like uh, laying out a string along which the student travels in his or her own way, and maybe even questioning whether the string's in the right place. And, you know, after all, that's how modern science started. For thousands of years, it was accepted by scientists that objects move to their natural place. So a ball goes to the ground, and steam goes to the sky. These things are kind of like common sense, and they were taken for granted for literally thousands of years uh -huh. from Aristotle. And it wasn't until Galileo and the modern scientific revolution that scientists decided to be puzzled by these obvious things. And as soon as you start to question things, you see nothing like that makes any sense. And every stage of science, or you know, even just learning, serious learning, comes from asking, why do things work like that? Why not some other way? All right, you find that the world is a very puzzling place. And if you're willing to be puzzled, you can learn. If you're not willing to be puzzled and just copy down what you're told or behave the way you're taught, uh, you just become a, a replica of someone else's mind. I mean, some of the technical work I'm doing now is initiated by my suddenly realizing that assumptions that have been standard throughout modern history of generative grammar, but in fact throughout the traditional study of language, just have no basis. And when we ask, okay, then why do we assume them? You have to look for a basis, then lots of avenues open up. And that happens constantly.